Hey all, this is Shubanka here from Concept. So we have now launched the dashboard functionality on our web application wherein now we can use multiple products available on the web platform simultaneously at the same time on our same screen. So in the topmost panel of the application, I would find go to dashboard functionality or I would say the dashboard functionality. So I just need to click over there. So once I click on dashboard functionality, now I need to select a layout of my particular set of tools which I need to use. Like how many tools I need to use at the same time. It is, is it two tools? Is it four tools? Which So you can go ahead and select a layout which is two into two, wherein you can use four tools simultaneously. So let's say I'll pick up the first one over here, which is one into two right now. So I can use two tools at the same time. So now let's say I wish to see the option chain as well as I need to also see the open interest data at the same time. So eventually I want to use the open interest and the option chain tool in Quantstrap at the same time. So that can be done using the dashboard functionality. So right now the data which you are seeing in the tools over here which is of option chain and open interest, it is of bank nifty. If you wish to change the entire data in both of the tools over here, all you need to do is change the symbol from the symbol panel. So now let's say you can select stocks as well. So let's say if I wish to check the data for nifty. So I can do that as well. So wherein the entire data you see in both of the tools which is chain and open interest, it would be changed to nifty's data right now. Further, you can also change your desired expiry as well. So yeah, so the, now the entire data has been changed to 6th of May's expiry over here. Similarly, if you wish to edit any of your product, let's say if you wish to delete uh, the option chain, so you can delete it from here, okay? And then further, you wish to add some other tool in respect to that. Let's say if you wish to add index contributor, so you can add index contributor and then you can further resize it. So I have now resized it. So yeah, that's how you can actually edit your tools as well, which you have already added. Similarly, if you wish to add some other tools as well, apart from these two. So now let's say if I wish to add FNO news, so even that can be done. So you see below both of these tools, my FNO news tool has been also added on my dashboard. So I just need to click on save button to actually save the changes I have made in dashboard. And this dashboard would be saved automatically now. So now let's say if I wish to go ahead and create another dashboard. So I'll click on add new dashboard button over here. Yeah. So now if I wish to go ahead and create my additional dashboard as well. So now let's say I wish to go ahead with one into two into two layout. So I'll click on that particular thing and then I will quickly add up my tools. So now let's say if I wish to go ahead to see FNO news, okay, I wish to go ahead and see uh, synopsis, futures open interest historical to check the market breadth and all that. And then further, I wish to also look at the open interest data. So now all of the three tools are plotted at the same time. Similarly, if I wish to go ahead and open the open interest tool as a whole. So I just need to click on the navigate to product button, then automatically my product would be open. So I'll just click on it once. So yeah, you see my open interest tool has opened right now. If I wish to go back to dashboard, I would go to back button or I would directly go to dashboard from here, from this button. So let's say I'll go on to dashboard from here. So whatever symbols you have used, tools you have used recently, you can directly navigate over there by using the back button. Now similarly, if you wish to rename your dashboard, so you just need to click on the edit symbol over here and then you need to rename it. So let's say intraday. Yeah. So yeah, now my changes are also done. My, I have renamed my product, my dashboard. If I go on home, automatically the changes I have made, it would be saved automatically. At a time, we can create five dashboards at the same time and in a single dashboard, maximum you can add is up to six products at a single time. 
so yeah if i wish to go ahead for some other dashboard let's say dashboard 1 so i can navigate to my first dashboard by selecting my particular dashboard from the drop down button so yeah i would say that pretty much was it from my side for today so thank you all for joining me up till here we would be posting similar sort of content regularly on youtube so you can hit the like button stay notified uh, with the bell icon and also cons if you refer concept to one of your friends so in that case you'll receive 100 rupees reward points in your concept account and your friend earns 100 500 rupees reward points in his concept account which can eventually be used in further purchases made in concept so thank you all see you all in the next video